All right, here we are, here we are. The whole place is coming down. All right, are we good? Are we good? All right, we good, we good. Come on. Rafa Rising, stage one. Running, running very late. Very, very, very late. Got my gummies. Got my specialty Rafa bibs. Dude, let's do this. Ain't nobody in the Zwifting universe excited for this ride. Not even me, but we're, but we're still doing it. Rafa Rising, stage one, climbers, gambit. Ultimately, uh, the goal is that to actually beat last year's time, which I wasn't, here we go, here we go, here we go. I wasn't particularly an established YouTuber like I am now. I'll, I'll get back to you in that. In just a minute. 58 minutes, four seconds is my time to beat. Looking at the course profile here, you can tell that the bulk of the climbing is at the very end. Don't let that deceive you. It's taking on the Zwift KOM reverse from the back. It's not the full segment. It's taking on Titan Titan's Grove KOM, uh, the reverse. And um, this is the reverse of the Epic KOM as well. So fair amount of climbing throughout the whole thing, definitely. Um, I'm fairly excited because I'm never going to do these routes by myself. Literally never. But with a group and within an organized event like this, yeah, sure, I'll tackle it. I'll get that uh, course credit and everything, get that route badge. Granted, I've done this one before last year. So that's the name of the game, to beat last year's time. And a totally shameless plug, today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. That was me kissing you all, because I love you all so much. Because I do. Ah, Hilly Reverse KOM. Or Zwift. KOM reverse thing. Good thing, you know? Really keeping the pressure on on these climbs. They're pretty short, pretty punchy, not super long. I know I'm gonna get dropped on the Epic, but I don't wanna get dropped before then. But I do, and it's on the descent. Close that gap. I uh, just wanted to, you know, put that quick clip in there. I did close that gap. I was pretty excited about that. And uh, this is the Titans Grove reverse now. Um, just a just a long one. Pretty pretty grueling. Four, five, six percent. Nothing too terribly steep, but it's just long. So get to the top of that. Do not give me a feather right now. Nice. And believe it or not, we spent the next 12 minutes or so completely alone uh, with one other guy. Got totally dropped from the group, missed him on the descent. They pulled away uh, towards the very top of the climb. So we skip way ahead. This is now the base of the Epic KOM Reverse. Starts on a steep, punchy climb. Um, and then just like remains this uh, pretty, pretty steep uphill portion. And then it levels out to 3% for this super long bridge. And this is, I think, one of the hardest parts of the whole thing because it's so long. I don't know. I just I hate this stupid bridge, man. Um, I don't know if I've ever done the Epic from this side before. I mean, I have because I've done Climber's Gambit before, but um, not hardly ever. So it's kind of, I think I prefer from this side because there's a couple breaks. There's like a two kilometer stretch and then a slight downhill or a level portion. Two kilometer stretch, slight level or downhill portion and then a final two kilometer stretch. So, uh, I mean, six kilometer climb, that's a long one. And uh, I mean, like right here, like this is a nice little sweet descent, actually. Just a quick second to uh, catch your breath and then you go right back to it, 10, 11, 12% grades. And a lot of it's just this sustained 9%. So super difficult climb, super long climb. I'm trying my best to keep a steady power and I, I'm not the best climber. So I don't really know how to alternate between, like should I have a higher cadence or should I keep like a really low cadence? In the past I've done a low cadence and it just hurts my knees really bad. I, I keep the trainer difficulty about 50% or so. Um, so I was trying to alternate between 
a really low cadence when I would stand up on the pedals or a much higher cadence. So you can kind of see my cadence does bounce around a little bit. And as the, as the gradient increases above 9%, I click the gears and I'll have a higher cadence. Uh, so just trying, trying something new. Um, just trying to figure it out because, I mean, in real life on a steep climb, I, I go low cadence, but I'm standing up the whole time. Uh, this is, I don't know, I'm still trying to find the balance of, it's definitely a video game, I'm on a trainer, but it is kind of real at the same time. I don't know, man, I'm just trying to uh, figure out what's gonna be most effective, most efficient, and least painful on my knees, especially because I have Two more days of this uh, stage two and stage three respectively tour of fire and ice is tomorrow and then ventop is yeah lorraine ventop something like that i don't know so put on the backwards cap um i'm i'm in business now so really trying to work for it um it does not look like i'm gonna get a top 50 percent standings which is always the goal of course especially big challenging events like this um i you know being 52 53 out of 80 some not gonna hit the top 50 percent i you know accepted that about 20 minutes ago to be honest so now the real name of the game for sure is to beat last year's time of 58 minutes and four seconds so can i finish this in eight minutes half a mile remaining let's take a look and see uh, around this time the wife comes in gives me some encouragement hey you guys my wife is home in the nick of time. Final half mile. Babe, I need you. I'm dying. What? I'm dying. Because it's hard. I need some encouragement. Show your face. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want you to see that, by the way. She's getting the dog involved now. Is there cardboard touching that? Five minutes. Four tenths of a mile. Steady, Eric. Steady. Stay up. Oh, it's zero percent. Oh, this is it. What the heck? Last year's time was, let's say it again, 58.04, 54.50. I don't think I did that much by myself last year. So that's good and bad. Oh my goodness, you guys, that was, that was a tough one. 
Hey, 252 watts for 55 minutes. My long time goal has been 250 watts for an hour. So, but ideally that's on a flat course where I'm like, you know, with the group, so flying. Instead of just going up a mountain, but. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, stage two, tour of fire and ice.